Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and I'm super excited. It looks like Apple released a new Mac OS 10.14, codename Mojave. Uh, <laughs> weird name, but let's go inside Apple about this Mac. And as you can see, I am running version 10.14 beta. And I'm going to show you guys my top 10 new features that I kind of find exciting. And these are the ones that I saw off the bat. Now the first one that I noticed was inside um, the system preferences. This is my top number 10. And it looks like they gave software updates in its own section. Awesome. It's not sharing it within the Apple Store anymore. The Apple Store still has its own software update, but it's only updating apps. It's not updating the software within the operating system. How cool is that? Now for number two, it's still within the system preferences. So let's go back. And this one is all about the light and dark. As you can see, I automatically have dark mode because that's the mode that I like. But if you want, you can always go inside light mode, which is the original color. This is kind of dull. I do enjoy this color a lot, so I'm going to stick with this one. For number eight, uh, let's close this up right here. It looks like quick preview now allows you to mark up on the spot. So let's click on an image on the desktop. If I hit the space bar, uh, you normally get just to view the image quickly but now you're able to click on this little guy right here and then do some markups cool and I'm gonna hit cancel and I'm gonna close this up now for top number seven it looks like Apple has reinvented the gallery view so let's double click on pics and if I click on this little guy right here it just changes now the feeling that I'm getting in this environment is like Adobe bridge because it gives you a lot of features. Now, if I took these pictures with a DSLR camera, I'd have got more information, but the fact that I get color profile, color spaces is awesome. Now, at the bottom, it gives you more options. You're able to rotate to the left, mark it up, and let's click on more. You're even able to create PDFs or even add a password. How awesome is this? Now, let's close this finder up. I'm gonna place it back to this. This is the view that I like to view the most. <laughs> So the next one in my list is top number six. Now they have this new feature called Stacks, which allows you to clean up your desktop. Now, as you can see, I have a lot of images, but I want all these images to be in one folder or organized in the way that they're all together. So if you click on View, Use Stacks, it just condenses everything into one centralized location, meaning everything that was an image is now placed inside images. But you're able to click on it and it will expand. How cool is that? When you click on it again, it goes back into that. I like this feature a lot. Now, top number five on my list, it looks like screenshots have been approved a lot. Back then in the past, when you used to take a screenshot within the Mac OS, it used to take it and place it on your desktop and that's it. Now, when you do Shift Command 4, you still get the cross here, as you guys can see. But let's say I could take a picture of this little mustache right here and the goatee. Now you're able to get this nice little view and click on it. When you click on it, the cool thing is now you're able to do some modifications on it. So let's close this up real quick. I don't want to save it. And for my top number four, it looks like Apple has given us more, more apps. I don't really see myself using this, but the four apps that they have given us is the following. Voice memos, uh, which if I open it up, got the nice little recorder. Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? <laughs> Let's play that again. Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? <laughs> Alright, so that's one of the apps that they provided. Now the next app that they added was Stocks. Uh, my boss at my job would definitely love this app because he uses it all the time on his iPhone. The next one is Home. Uh, I haven't configured this as of yet, but I'm going to be playing around with it a little bit uh, later on. And the last one is news. Apparently Apple stated that a lot of people have been using the news app on their phones. I occasionally use it, but not all the time. All right, so let's close these apps up because we don't need them anymore. Close them up. But top number three, it looks like Apple has redesigned the App Store a lot. I really like the design. It looks clean. It doesn't look like it's everywhere. I feel like I could find stuff when I need it. And uh, yeah, huge improvement. Now for top number two, 
is uh, within the system preferences. So I'm going to go to Apple and system preferences. Apple has introduced dynamic desktop. Uh, this is pretty scary to me, but I'm going to show you where it's at. Within desktops and screensaver, and if you go to Apple, there's an option right here when you click on it. It says enable location services for dynamic desktop to display based on your location. Once you enable this within location services and you're traveling to different places, it looks like your desktop is going to change. That's pretty freaky. Now, top number one, uh, I know this is number one to me because it's something that I always need and it's battery usage. Ever since I updated my machine to 10.14, I've noticed that the battery has been awesome. Uh, I've been using my laptop maybe for two or three hours straight and it's already 82%. So I feel like the new operating system is extremely efficient with the battery usage. So I definitely need to keep an eye on that. And that's it guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my top 10 new features with the latest Mac OS 10.14. If you have any questions or concerns, leave them at the bottom. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.